Hello, ladies and gentlemen, friends of all types, and welcome back to the tier list. Now, I'm doing a tier list on PvD two. I didn't make I didn't make one, but we're gonna. I'm gonna do. It. I have a friend. He we went to school. We we know we know a lot about PvD two, and it's a one of the best games ever. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello there, and uh, today we're going to be uh, rating our plants from best to worst in the tier. Yes. Or we have the tier list, of course. This is only our opinion, so don't get mad at us if uh, some plants that you think are bad are actually good. Yes. It's only our opinion. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, now you go first. yeah, I'll explain all the categories. So, we got S stands for superior. And we got A, nor, your normal grading system. We got A, B, C, D, and F. And now I'm in a tier list. I'll talk, talk about this tier, like, later. So, first we got P Shooter. So, I'll, um, who wants... Do you want to go first? I'll go first, then. Okay. All right. Um, P Shooter. Yes. The first starter plan in your game. Well... It's also technically a part of the mascot of the, the 3DZ series, but, okay, back to the point. Um, well, in my opinion, it's a pretty decent starter plant. It's not the best damage plant in the current game, but in my opinion, it's not really that good when you progress through the storyline. Mm. Because you'll be getting more and more plants, but it's kind of a cheap plant to have if you, if you have too many expensive plants. Yeah. But, in my opinion... Uh, the tier, I think I'm going to put it in the D tier. D tier? Because, uh, well, it's pretty useful for damage, but it doesn't deal that much damage. It's But, but good effects, uh, well, you got to make sure that uh, the, your... you got to make sure there's not a death zombie that randomly spawns, because it's not even going to land, and it's more going to be doing more damage to you than it is to, well, any of the zombies in the front line. So yeah. you got to make sure, yeah. That's technically a weakness that Pea Shooter has, and also, um, uh, Grey Stones, well, also stop it or block his projectiles, so that protects zombies, so that's a weakness, but it's plant food effects can kind of damage them and destroy them, but in my opinion, I best use it for damage, but yeah, I put it in deep here. Okay, um, I gotta disagree with Pea Shooter being deep, because... P sure is actually a very good starter plan. You, you keep level it up, it actually can um, be like a killer machine. Like is be more cheaper. I'm I'm going to consider P sure to be a B. I consider P sure to be a B. I, I I think that's a good idea. All right, moving on. Yeah. P, I mean, he's one of those plants that can is going to get lower at the time because he's just a starter plant. Like, there's better ones. So, anyway. Next, we got Sunflower. It's a, a starter plant. Should I go? Okay, anyway. We'll take turns. Yeah. Okay, Sunflower. A very good starter plant, but you're not going to use it that often because Sunflower can... It's good, but it's just a starter plant, and there's better sun-producing plants. I consider Sunflower to be a C. Alright, John. Uh, what's next up? Okay. I'll play Sunflower and see because we both agree that Sunflower is more of a C tier. Next, we got. Yeah, it gets worse. Yeah. It's, uh, however, it's kind of like if you want a sun plant immediately, but you don't have any other sun plants or any premium sun plants, then uh, Sunflower is going to be your best bargain. Yeah. But, yeah. It's not that good. Okay. Uh, Okay. Uh, it's not that good if you have other producer plants and the one that I really like that will show later in the next video, but let's move on, yeah. shall we? Yeah. Next, we got Walnut, which Walnut is... Do you want to explain your opinion where Walnut should go? 
Yeah, in my opinion, water is can be a very useful protective blank in case if you have like wards of zombies. But it will also uh, kind of take up on your space. But in my opinion, it's useful with the blank food effects increasing its protection. And it's also useful for zombie factions. And it's kind of like well, for example, like going over unless there are other zombies that you like to jump over. But yeah, it's tough that actually gets more and more useful when uh, you level it up. But it's not going to be one of the best starter plans to later on. But I, in my opinion, I'm going to put it in a C tier again. Okay, so, okay, let me explain. I know Wanda is a, like a C, but in in general wanna plant food effect is pretty good and it can do a lot of damage no actually not a lot of damage but it can actually defend but um i okay i'm okay with c but i want to put him in a b alright so all right next up i can do with c i think we're moving oh. So I guess we're moving on to ancient Egypt now. No, we're still on. We got two more plants. Okay, oh, okay. next. Oh, okay. Next is. Oh yeah, I know one of them. Potato mine. Potato mine is next. Yes. Okay. Right. So potato mine, a very very um cheap plant that is literally is just like it's very good, but there's other potato mine plants that are pretty good. It's like, it's like your cheap, um, explosive plan. So, I consider Potato Mine to be like an A. I kind of agree with you. It's, uh, oh yeah, I, the more you level it up, it decreases its farming time, so you can it, see it more useful, so you don't have to put it farther in the back line. So, yeah. you don't also have to have a walnut like protecting it so so it could just arm up. And also, and also, its explosion radius is like one tile. It's just a tile that hits. But it actually hits all the zombies that are on that tile. So, that can be useful with its damage. Oh, okay. okay. Um, well, um, I so think. I agree. I think it's a key tier. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to be one of the best A tier plants that we have right yes. now. Yes. Um, next up is ca oh, Cabbage Bolt, which is another starter plant. So, do you want to go? Yeah, er, Alright, so my opinion about Cabbage Bolt is when we were kind of thinking about it and talking it, er, <laughs> together about it, well, we thought it wasn't really that good due to him having a. He's like a. We said it's like a weaker version of like a pea shooter or something, and. However, its plant food effect is useful if you want to hit zombies more than just like gravestones and, uh, well, shields. Yeah. But it's it's useful for shooting over graves and hitting directly hitting zombies, and that is going to be useful in ancient Egypt though, or big levels of graves. But that's really much it. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, it's better to have pea shooter than a uh, cabbage pole. So I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this in D tier. Okay. It's I'm not gonna say that's the worst plan, however, but it's not that good in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Have, like, a good slide, it's still not that as well in my opinion. Yeah. I agree. Cabbage pole is not. It's 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 like a it's a terrible peak shooter, and it's pretty bad in bad. That's lower five. Yeah. So yeah, now we're on to ancient Egypt, which first we got Bloomerang, which I guess you I can go explain. Okay. Yeah. So Bloomerang is actually can take care of the camels only, which. It, you you can take care of with Pichu with um with his peas, but Bloomerang can actually um um like free his Bloomerangs and can take care of like like five zombies if you get them all get their hands cut off and then they'll just die. But 
I'd say Boomerang is actually pretty useful if you keep leveling up. i say it's a B tier. Yeah, then also there are some hidden features. It can't take damage from its own projectile, so actually I figured this out the hard way, but if a gesture zombie tries to reflect its projectile on Boomerang, the Boomerang actually has an animation where it kind of catches the Boomerang, so it doesn't even really, it doesn't even hurt him. Yeah. So if you like land a plant food effect, it's not going to hurt Boomerang, unless it's like a pea shooter projectile. If it's like a pea projectile or any other projectile besides a Boomerang, then it's gonna take damage, but yeah, I think it's pretty good for me here. Yeah, good All idea. Right. Okay, we both agree that Boomerang is beat here. Next is Iceberg Lettuce, which is literally costs nothing. So, I guess you can go. It's my your opinion. One of the cheapest plants in uh, Plants vs. Zombies 2. So, there, it's kind of like a kind of a mixed bag, in my opinion. It's uh, it freezes zombies whenever, and it can't really die unless it's like a projectile. And uh, it's quite for the fact it freezes every single zombie on the board, yeah. except for zombies that are need to like freeze. But yeah. when you level it up as well, it also causes a temporary chilling effect. Yeah. So it slows them down. But also, it can be useful for stopping towards zombies from burning down your plant. Oh, yeah. What? So, I'd, I'd actually put that in the meat here. Okay. I think it deserves meat. Okay, and well... Even though it has a small price to start, yeah, it deserves a meat. Oh, oh, um, I, I kind of disagree because Iceberg Land is actually pretty useful. It's like the Ice Room, but a little bit, like, it costs nothing. And I do believe Ice... Bird Lettuce is, is pretty useful, but there are other freezing zombies. I want to put them in an A, but I can do a B. So, right. so next we got Grey Buster, which is another plant that I actually pretty useful. So, I'll, I'll go. Okay, so Grey Buster is in fact can take care of graves. He can actually, um, Get rid of him. He he actually explodes like a potato mine, to be honest. Like he's more useful. Like when you only get that when you level him up, or if you yeah uh, containment. Yeah. So I consider um um Grey Buster to be an A, more because it's more useful to if you. You can use them in ancient Egypt, Dark Ages, modern day. You can actually just take care of them. The graves. Yeah. And it's funny enough, but for some reason you can use them on levels that you, that don't even spawn graves. And in my opinion, don't use them on levels that do not spawn graves. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the, you can't plant them, you can only plant them on graves. So, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Okay. And you... it does not have plant food effect, but it's also as cheap as the iceberg lettuce. Yeah. It's uh, one of the other cheapest in the game. You agree with A? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. Enjoy your punching edition. Yeah. Next, we got Bonk. Oh, yeah. Next, we got. Oh, yeah. We got the good old Bonk toy. Yeah. So, in my opinion, it's a fast-firing plant and requires, it can hit zombies either in front of it or behind it. It also has a plant food effect that uh, goes in or does a ton of damage in a 3x3 three three radius, except, uh, or, yeah, 3x3, three three. yeah, 3x3 three three radius, and uh, it can deal a ton of damage. It relies on damage per second and damage per hit, however. Yeah. By leveling it up, can also increase the duration of the plant food effect and also uh, damage. Okay. And it's also good for kind of melee or punching graves or like ice blocks. Yeah. Um. But it's also good for kind of damaging the zombies, like protection. And it's very useful on weak zombies. Okay. So, alright. Um, so, in my opinion, I think I'm going to put him in a... I'm going to put him at... Uh, I you? really want to put it in the A tier, but I don't 
I don't know if I should put it in B tier, but I think I'm gonna, in my opinion, I'm gonna put it in A tier. But it's not gonna be one of the best A tier plants. But it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I like to tell. I like to um, say to everybody that after the adventure plants, we all will rank the um premium plants. I save them for last after all the adventure plants. But I agree, Bong Toys A. He's one of my personal favorite plants to use in PBD two, mainly because it's such a great plant that I just like it's plant food pack. Like it just goes crazy punching all the zombies. So yeah, we agree, A. Eh? So next is Repeater, which Repeater is actually a fun plan. I mean, it's a pea shooter, but he he can shoot two peas at once, and it does more damage than the pea shooter. I say Repeater is an A because it it's a pea shooter but better. And also, it plants good effect. <laughs> It's kind of funny because it's a repeater, but I also realized uh, it does a pea barrage, but then it also charges me for large pea at the end, kind mm -hmm. of representing a second pea that it uses. And it's it's funny how its face kind of gets red when he's charging it up. Oh, yeah. But it's like it's like a giant pea, and it's not like that big, but it's like a big size. And it is, it does, uh, it does quite some damage, but it just only hits, like, one zombie. Mm-hmm. And that's it. But it's useful with DPS, and also, it's, yeah, it's good for DPS. And, uh, powering up about torch wood and other plants that okay. help them, uh, can actually make them a good DPS plant. Yeah. You agree to A? Alright. You will, you agree? Yes. Okay. We, a tier. Yeah, A tier. Okay. Next it's like we. A, it's like the heavy uh, weapon guy's minigun, but it's like. Well, actually, it's not like a heavy. It's like the Natasha from Team Fortress 2. It doesn't have that fast of a fire rate, but it's still kind of funny on how when you use the flag through face, it's just. They turn into a spare, like promoted to a soldier, and then they, it's just like you're using a minigun, and the bullets are just peas, and it's kind of funny. Okay, so next we got Twin Sunflower, which I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna get leave this to you. Twin Sunflower, in my opinion, its cost is pretty high, but what it does instead is that it gives two sun, which is a, makes a hundred instead of fifty, or just one sun. Yeah, it's much more like better than a than stock, but. If it's that expensive, in my opinion, I just prefer stock sunflower instead of just having two in one slot. Yeah. And I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna put it. In, I'm gonna put it in. Uh, I'm gonna put it in. Uh, I'm gonna put it in high F tier. High F? Um. Uh, whoa. Whoa. I wouldn't go that far because. Twin sunflowers okay. actually, in fact, can uh, produce sun in those producing sun levels. If you need, if you plant like two sunflowers, it's probably gonna take up too long. But you use twin sunflower, it's actually pretty good. I don't consider twin sunflower to be one of the worst plants, so I consider twin sunflower. I like to put. I want to put them in C. I want to put them in B, but I consider it a C. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. At least it's not as bad as uh, one of the other plants. Or, do you, or I think, uh, Yo, did you have that tier for it? Yeah, I put the tier. Yeah, oh, I kept. Not as plant that it's that we gave its own tier because it's like one of the worst plants. You can't even place it again. Yes, you yes. The we'll, we'll get to him in, in a minute. Oh. Next, we got. I think we can move. Hold on, let's get let's get something out of the way. Okay, right. there's Marigold, which I created a tier. Here's the reason why. Marigold is one of the worst plants. I don't know why people like this plant. It's it's just a it's a it's like it's a crappy plant because you don't use them. It's just 
it's in the Zen Guardian. You don't use him. Yeah, he only gives. He did give you some coins to add, but that's it. Yeah, I, I, I got that out of the way. So let's move on. So, we, right. so we got Colonel Pole, which okay, Colonel Pole is actually pretty good. One of the better Pole brothers in Cabbage Pole. It's a better Cabbage Pole. It's like. It's playing fruit that can stun a lot of zombies. And it's really good, in fact. I gotta consider Colonel Pole to be a B. Because it's such a good yeah. one. I think I'm gonna put it in a higher B. Like, I'm not gonna put him in A, but I'm gonna stick to the very good one in B tier. Like, a very high B tier. Okay. And. It actually takes out Elkin and Seagull zombies in one shot if it does a butter sweeper. If it shoots out butter. If it swaps butter. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, yeah. The birds, or zombies, or like the birds just die in like one shot. But I think it also makes it the same thing to the bug zombies. I can't really tell, but maybe they do. But it's uh, pretty good. Yeah. It's just the persona. Especially on Gargantuar. Mm hmm. Okay. Like, uh, the strongest enemies, except for Dr. Zonboss, that is. Yeah. He's, Dr. Zonboss actually, his, his defense, it says undying, he's literally undying, and can only be, er, he cannot be stopped. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. yeah, the Zonboss spike, and the Zonboss from the Pyrocees is just an easy boss fight. He's not much of a threat. But, we're not ranking zombies, we're ranking plants. So, next... Yeah. I, I will say something to one of the plants, or two of them actually, have the same feature with their plant food effect, but I'll explain that later. Yeah, so next we got Snapdragon, which he's actually a pretty good plant. I'm, I'm going to leave it to you. I'll tell you what I think about Snapdragon. Alright, Snapdragon. It's, uh, shoots, uh, it breathes fire in a, a two by, or I think a three by two radius, or a two by three, I can't really tell. But, it breathes fire on enemies and does fire game right. damage. It's plant food effect, uh, does a three by three uh, radius, however, but it does a lot more damage with fire. It's mostly just a fire plant, but, I keep it on a hidden feature. Its heating radius is even bigger. Okay. Uh, than the stars, or it, it has a bigger heating radius. Me? Radius oh, oh. I figured this out when I was just playing on a, like, uh, one of those endless modes of Frostbite Cave. I found that out the hard way. Yeah. Um, I don't think I think I'm gonna put him What? I'm gonna put him in A tier. Oh, yeah, I agree. Snapper, an easy A tier. Um, it's like a... One of your best plants you're gonna use, like, his plant full effect, like, he has wings, and then he'll just destroy, like, all the zombies, just, just barbecue them. So, yeah, easy here. So... Technically, you only need two, but in my opinion, you should have five in one row. Yeah. Or, from, uh, from top to bottom. It's very mm -hmm. good for its radius. Okay, next we got Spikeweed, which is a pretty odd plant. Let me explain. Spike Rock is way better than Spikeweed. Being honest, it's just, it's there. I have nothing else to say. It's just kind of weak. I'd consider it a C. Spikeweed discount Spike Rock. Yeah, but I consider Spikeweed a C. However, saying something about that plant food effect, about two of them, for, I figured this out in the hard way. When Dawn Boss is like just currently stationary, you can actually use a plant food effect and it stuns all zombies, but it also drags to the plant. But I figured this out. Dawn Boss may not be able to take damage from the plant food effect, but he gets the stun effect where he can't even move yeah. or do anything. It goes for Spike Rock. I think. Uh, Spike Weed should go with D, or kind of a low C tier, and uh, Spike Rock should go in uh, 
Uh, well, we're not on Spike Rock. We'll get to that later. But okay, we agree. Spike Lee is a C. I know, but since they're both the same, I just wanted to get those out of the way. Okay. Spike Rock C. Okay. We both agree. Spike bo Rock C and uh, Spike Lee is C. Yeah. Okay. Next, we got Spring Bean. Now, this is easy. I... I you go you go first because I know where he belongs. Yeah. This plant well uh it's a big kind of well, it is perfect. Like I don't know what to say. The only reason why you use him is just for his knob side, but it's it's more okay in pirate seas than it is in like any other level. Well well in Prosper Cage, he can get rid of the dodos. Oh, I did not. Oh, I did not even know that. Huh? I guess I thought they would just fly over them, but okay. Um, but still, I, I consider. They still fly over Spike Lee and Spike Rock. Yeah. Um, Spring Me up here, up here, easily up here. It's gonna be the Lone Wolf. Yeah. Unless you level it up, it, it can be go it can go up to a high F tier, but that's basically it. That's like yeah. Yeah. Not the best utilized yeah, just yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next. Let's move on. Let's get let's get just, let's get the elephant out of the room. Yeah. About Yeah, let's get the wong wolf out of the way. So next we got coconut cannon, which I'm gonna be honest, coconut cannon is like the best cannon. Producer, he's cost four under sun, but it's a lot better than the banana launcher. We're going to get to him later. My opinion on Coconut Cannon is that he does a lot of damage, but I do, I do miss Cod Cannon. I wish he came back, but I consider Coconut Cannon to be an A. Yeah, his AOE radius is also better than the very useful and also powering it up with an armament reduces his like, arming time to like two seconds and that is my friend OP yes like that is broke oh a short arming time oh my god that is like one of the best things that's like a blessing to use armament and you have like coconut can it's like the best uh, one for dealing like tons of damage okay so next it's like a the pea shooter. It's like a pea shooter shooting out deadly explosive coconut. Yes. That's basically like a pea shooter fire. Yes. But I I wish they brought back cop cannon from the first one. Because it's really good. It yeah. does a lot of damage. It was like, yeah. Yeah. It was very good back in the day. And it was an upgrade plan from Colonel. Yeah, it's pretty broken. Okay, next. Yeah. Next, we got. In honor of Cobb he will be missed. Let's hope that he is possibly brought back as a DLC. Yes. Or, you know. Yes, DLC. for the up new update. So, next is Free Peter, which is a pea shooter, but shoots free peas. So, um, you, you can go. And, uh, yeah. You can go. You can explain while I go get my, um, chimichanga. You can explain. All right. Alright, okay, I guess, I guess it's just me now. My opinion on, well, Free, er, Free Peter is, it's actually pretty good. Even though it costs 300 sun, I, it actually shoots, it, it does like way more DPS when you have like three, or if you have like more than one at Free Peter. It's plant fruit effect as well is very useful when combined with uh, like Torchwood or Peapod. Yeah. And in my opinion, it's it's high tier. It's high tier. But I'm going to say it's high. I'm going to say either, I'm going to say low A though, because it's not going to be like the best plant or no, mid A. Oh, uh, um, I, I don't think he's an A because it's a, it, he costs too much. Like 325 sun. I don't think you're ever going to use him, so I consider Free Peter to be a B. Yeah. Alright. I guess I agree with you, so... 
I guess it's a B. Yeah. So next we uh, got. I guess we, next we got Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb. Oh, yeah. Easy A S tier. S tier. Because it's one of the best explosive plants. Like 150 stun, and then it'll just done a lot of damage. You keep leveling up, it'll just kill like a ton of zombies. It's easy as to. Yeah, it is like a, it's like a last resort. Yeah, you agree on S? Or it's just like it's it's a three by three radius explosion. It's like it's just it is OP. If you have it, and if you have it like at a specific level, it'll start to cost to last. And even though it has a slow recharge rate, I don't care about that. Yeah. If you have like imitator, you can just like chain the explosion and. Yeah. Yeah, it's OP. Yeah. It's OP. Easy, yeah, we both agree it's easy S tier. I'm, I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, so if you do, please subscribe. But anyway, so next we got Split P, which is a very odd plant. You want to yeah. go? Yeah. So, uh, Split P, right? Yeah. Alright. Okay, well, let me say something. Sorry. There's something outside. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Split me? Never mind. Forget what I said. Wait, it's your turn. Uh, hold on. Uh, split me. Split me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it is uh, kind of like a. It's a, both a B shooter and a B shooter. Mm -hmm. Except. It shoots uh, peas from behind and in front. Mm -hmm. And it's quite, yeah, technically just a pea shooter and a reef gear just fused together. Mm -hmm. Except, like, they have two heads, and, like, the fuse of death went wrong instead of becoming, like, a Gatling pea shooter. It's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a two headed pea shooter that one's angry and then the other, yeah. Yeah. However, in my opinion, it's not like the worst pea shooter. Mm -hmm. Because, it actually is useful for zombies that are like go behind your front line. Like, like when a pterosaur or a pterosaur zombie is behind you, or a dynamite zombie, dynamite explosion gets behind us, mm -hmm. our front line or behind our line. Yeah. Um, so it's just before kind of make some or quick work out of them. But uh, it's not the best. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it D tier. Okay. Well, it's not the best plan actually. It's kind of weak actually. It's it's a pitcher and a repeater mixed together, and it's kind of ba bad. Beyond on um, being honest, I consider S split B to be. Low C tier or high D tier? I'm gonna put it in the D, in my opinion. Yeah. That's all I think. Yeah. I, okay, he's a low C. Okay, next is right. Chili Bean, which is not, it's not the best bean. There's like one bean, which is really good. But this bean is actually... Funny. Yeah. So what it does, a zombie has to eat it and then farts. But I give it credit well, for. Zombie as well. Yeah, but I do it's give funny. it credit for his fart jokes, which everybody knows we all love a good fart joke. Just to point that out. But anyway. But, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. I mean, it doesn't kill a guard. Like Except for zombies are like where it's like it's like robot zombies. Yeah. They can't get that effect. Yeah. But it's actually extremely broken, especially when you're in Teddy's pursuit and you're going against like super high level zombies. Mm -hmm. Except for gargantuars. It one shots them, no matter what. It's like zombie eats just a copy and then he's like, I don't feel so good, then a snap effect occurs, but also <laughs> stuns all the zombies that are behind it with a toot. Yeah, I agree. I think 
chili bean, it should be C. C for chili bean. Yes. It plant food effect is similar to potato mine as well, but except it shoots even there, it shoots like four or five. Out. Okay, next Which up is. Next and if you have like piled turnips, you can just fill up the whole board with just chili beans. Mm -hmm. It just lasts. That is teapot. How much painting you can just do. Mm -hmm. Because the zombies are just going to be like unable to get past unless, unless like a gargantuar or, you know, like a bull zombie just appears out of nowhere and is like, charge! Yeah. Next up is Peapod, which, aka, Pea Shooter Mini version. So, let me start. Okay. Um, wait, you, you oh, wait, sorry, it's, it's your turn. No, you, oh, you can go. Wait, wait, I've already taken turns, which, well, I, okay. I, I'll take, I'll take it. So, okay. so Peapod, <laughs> it's... It's pretty kind of a waste because you have to keep planting it and it's pretty darn terrible. I'm I'm being honest. It's not it's not up tier. I don't think it I don't think any plant is that worse than spring bean. But people in my opinion, I do like the plant food effect, but it's just yeah, I just um I want I say he's a D tier. However, if DPS can increase the more times you plant a single pea pod on it, but it's kind of just wasting sun. Mm -hmm. But it, when at full power, it can be very deadly. Mm -hmm. You just need, if you need to, like, once you plant it, you've just got to get it to full power, and then you're going to be pretty good. But it takes time to get sun, unless you have, like, Good producer plants, but yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. It's based off of its best DPS and requires multiple plants to plant on it, but that's it. Yeah. So you agree with D? I'm going to put it in just a low C. Low C. Low C. Oh, um, wow, we got a lot. Of, we put in a lot of seeds or plants. Yeah. I bet later in the video we'll soon get some detail yes plants. uh yeah we just gotta keep going yeah so next is lightning reef which i don't think is like very very good point but i'll let you take this one i kind of like it especially when it adapts the most annoying zombies but if you have like spike weed or spike lock it basically does the job for you mm-hmm and plant food effect's pretty cool. And also, if you have like so many of these, the plant food effect DPS, like the clouds, you could just have multiple clouds. It's like, it's just a gigantic yeah. storm. Of, it's just tiny storm clouds just striking down these. And like, zombies are just like, this is probably taking damage. It's like, mm -hmm. this is fine. It's like, yeah. and I just keep walking and then it's like, they just suddenly get, it's like a critical hit occurs and it's like heart attack and they just get, mm -hmm. and just, it just gets that electrocution effect. Yeah. And then they just turn to stop. Yeah. But here's the thing. There's like other better, I know it takes care of the weasel, the chicken, and the turkey zombies, but you can literally use torch wood or electric pea shirt or electric blueberry it does the same thing so this plan is kind of yeah i i'm going to consider him to be more of a d because it's not that good it's it's a it's a weak it's kind of weak oh yeah if this video is going to be i think we should split it into multiple parts yeah my opinion as well. We should we should um stop at Wild West and I should um I think we should finish up this part and then we'll split it up into two parts. Yeah. Because I think 
we're, and then we'll stop there. Yeah. I'm, okay. Yeah, sorry, folks. I kind of wanted to cut it short, but this is like, I think I wanted to split it into multiple parts to kind of make it easier. Yeah. And also, so YouTube doesn't get mad at us. Um, they won't get mad because I, I'm allowed to make an hour video. Okay. Maybe we can do like two other stories and then, uh, yeah, we'll cut it short. Yeah. But that's going to be it. Um, the next part will have to be take place on next Saturday. Mainly because, um, I think... I'm going to say, I'm going to have a plan. Yeah. It could always get delayed. You want to make so the... I'm sorry if it gets the... It's, just, it's, it's personal stuff. Yes. You want to make the next part... Um, on Saturday, the uh, next Saturday. Possibly. Possibly. Or yeah. If uh, anything happens, we'll back it. We'll move it back up. Yeah. But yeah, I think we should finish up this, and then we'll be done. Yeah. So I'll put. So you want to put lightning ring in D? Yeah. Sorry, folks, for all of you that are watching. It's just. Yeah, I don't want to be take this too long. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think it would be best to put this up into multiple parts so y'all don't have to get too bored. Yeah. So we're going to only stop until we get to Winter Melon, and then we'll probably do Far Future, Big um, Dark Agent, and Big White Beast in, a, in in the next part. So I'm splitting it into parts. All so, right. So next up is Tallnut. Uh, is Tallnut, is, which he... Tom is actually pretty interesting. Um, here's the yeah. thing. Thing, Tom is uh, cost one hundred and twenty-five sun, but the seed packet is really, really slow, and it's not. It's just slow. You probably, if you want to plant like a whole row of tallnuts, it's going to cost you a lot of sun. So I consider Tom. Uh yeah. I think they're tall enough to be, like, near, um, B tier. Yeah, it's pretty decent, though. Being able to block low flying zombies and also it prevents the bull zombies from blocking their imps up mm -hmm. over. It's, it's useful for blocking those. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Unless you have like a uh, another plant that we will show in part two with this plant food effect active. Yeah, we're I'm gonna um so part okay I'll explain the parts at the end of the video. So next we got is melon pulp, which I'm gonna um, leave it to you to explain. Okay, this plant is kind of well, to be honest. It's mm. It's literally kind of like a coconut cannon because it has the AOD radius effect, but it's actually like a mortar, mm -hmm. to be honest. Except it's an expensive plant, but it does lots of, it's useful with its AOD damage, and it's also OP with its wet food effect, to be honest, because the more zombies that are on the board, the more melons it'll shoot out in its plant food effect, so you can also enjoy the satisfaction of the visual, mm -hmm. but also the amount of explosions. It's gonna, it's just an orbital, it's just gonna be an airstrike barrage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, no. Melon, Melon is not like his cold version of him. Um, it's pretty good, actually. Like, 325 sun, I mean, that ain't bad. I mean, I consider him to be, like, an A. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, plants that we're going to rank in the next part. So next, we're on, this is the last Wild West plant, is Winter Melon, which, pretty enough that it's a very good plant, like, freezes on, like, 500 sun. That's, like, a lot of sun, but it's pretty darn good. And, uh, however, I figured out it's a weaker melon bowl, but it, it gives you the killing effect on zombies. I consider winter melon... And it's, uh, it's useful with its AOE damage, especially when it freezes off. Yeah. But, okay, back to you. Okay. 
I consider Wintermelon to be an S. Mostly because it's pretty darn good. <laughs> um, you agree with S? Uh, you agree? I think I'm gonna agree. Yeah. But I'm just... It's like a decision. Do you prefer a winter or do you prefer a melon pulse that can create zombies or slow down zombies and steal some good AOE damage? Or do you want to prefer a melon pulse that's even stronger than that but does not have the freaker? Yeah. And I prefer for plants, and it also does more damage. But yeah, it mm -hmm. depends if unless it's like uh, you're in a buffs and bruises match in uh, arena. Yeah. Then uh, yeah, but an armor plant or is like a uh, uh like debuff, like it does like damage, but mm -hmm. but I sweat the buff, then it could be useful. Yeah. If Especially if you're like a starter arena player. Mm -hmm. Um, it won't take. Or free to play. I like to say it won't take time because I watched a president tier list video that was last for like three hours and people were not that bored. But this is our decision. We were going to make two parts because um, I just wanted. Yeah. So in the next part, um, we're going to um, rank the far future plants and then dark ages and then big white beach and then. I think, I think, and... I'll, Modern day. Yeah, and Frost... Oh, wait, did you forget Jurassic... You forgot Jurassic Marsh. Yeah. No, we're going to do Frost Break Engine. No, we're going to... It's like, a, it's rewind time, yeah. my friend. Yeah, we're going to stop until we get to Lost City for the second part. So, there's going to be more parts on the tier. So, I, I'm glad... And if y'all miss our watching... Mm-hmm. We appreciate you watching it, even though this channel has uh, very low subscribers. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and uh, subscribe. Yeah. If you want to, you don't. You can. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe. And don't mm -hmm. worry if uh, you somehow are not subscribed, uh, or if you somehow lose that subscription. Uh, you can always mm -hmm. try to resubscribe. But thanks for watching, yes. and uh, I hope you have a good day. Yeah. Um, I'll s oh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, yes, subscribe, like, and also hit that bell, and I'll see you guys next time.